Hi everyone, so in this tutorial you will learn how you can create this cool shape. I came up with this idea because I was just in a supermarket and I saw this random stuff. It's like a Russian candy thing, it's called Zephyr. So I thought, so I thought mm, that's, that's a pretty interesting shape, but it's super, super quick and simple to make. So yeah, I just wanted to show it. And also guys, if you have missed it, only two days are left in our huge Easter sale. You will find all information in the first link below this video, but I just wanted to show it to you and explain it to you. So I'm offering three bundles, 40% off. And if you are a beginner, I have a beginner super bundle. And again, everything is below in this video. Yeah, if you want like a visual explanation. And this beginner super bundle is co consists of three beginner courses. In the first one, you will learn to model this iPhone here completely from scratch with all of those lenses and look all of those details at the bottom. So it's the perfect introduction into product modeling and this kind of shapes. And obviously everything step by step explained in detail, no fast forward, no time lapses and stuff. So you really get out afterwards with a lot of knowledge. Then the second course, which is included in that super beginner bundle, is another product and a little bit more interesting, those headphones here. And yeah, also you will learn so many techniques and this is a render, so an actual render of that model. So you will see if you have a high quality 3D model, your renders will look just absolutely amazing. And if you're interested in sci-fi, then this is absolutely for you because this beginner super bundle, which is currently 40% off, also has here IR sci-fi concept bundle pack. So you get three more courses where you will learn to create this prop design here, then also a grenade. Again, everything from scratch, step by step. And this is again an actual render that I've created and you will learn how to create a concept drone. And again, you will learn some things about lofts, all the basics and key fundamentals in plasticity. And this is also a render that I did. So you see that just looks absolutely amazing. So if you're a beginner, <clears throat> this is absolutely for you. So if you have already a little bit more of experience and you're interested in surface modeling, right? So <clears throat> by far the most powerful and interesting modeling technique is what I always showing. I have a surface modeling bundle and one of them is the motorcycle bundle, which consists of this motorcycle. It's a whole course. It will teach you how to model that motorcycle from scratch. And not just that, you will get a full introduction into surface modeling with all basics and fundamentals. So you know exactly what we are doing and not just copy that, but really understand deeply why we are doing certain things, when to use them. Yeah, so absolutely amazing. And again, those are some renders of the actual 3D model. So yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. And afterwards you can basically create almost any model on your own. And additionally to that, you will also get the helmet course also one of my best sellers. You will learn how to create this helmet. Why is it so amazing? Because you have this spherical organic shape with this very hard edged de details and you have a beautiful balance of like a modern design and organic shapes. And also again, you will get a whole course an introduction into surface modeling, a lot of practices and exercises. So we really warm up together. So then we can uh, jump straight into the modeling process. And yeah, you will be able to create this helmet again, completely from scratch. So this is our motorcycle bundle. And our third bundle, which is in the Easter sale, is the, again, surface modeling, the ultimate bundle. Again, you have the helmet course here. But this time not the motorcycle, but if you're more interested in industrial design and weapons and, and power tools, this is amazing because you will learn how to create this 
glue pistol, this nail gun, and this power drill completely from scratch. And it's not just, or you will learn how to create power tools, especially if you like weapons and, and sci-fi, you will learn from here so much more than, than from any other weapon tutorial, because you will implement like real product design, real industrial design, and you will just learn like key techniques and key fundamentals of this kind of shapes. And yeah, it will just open your understanding about modeling and, and products and, and, and concepts. So really, really amazing. So again, three bundles below this video, you can check it out in detail. And <laughs> let's jump right into our tutorial. So we want to start with a very blobby mushroom shape. I don't know how to call that, but just go to the front view and create a line. And from the center, drag that out a little bit. Again, you can play with the shape as you want. And now control point curve or any curve and just snap it here on the Z axis. And the first one has to be tangent. So don't create the first point here because we will revolve it and we needed a smooth surface on the top. And yeah, the second point, I don't know, you can go something like that. So something very basic, very simple here for this tutorial, because you will get the, the, the principle behind that. And basically we don't even <laughs> need this curve. So we have this curve here and then go revolve and just revolve it here in the middle. And you see at the top, it looks absolutely smooth and beautiful. And this is what we want. Delete the curve, delete this edge. And now so, so simple guys, just go to the top and create a circle here in the middle. You can play obviously with the position, something like that. And now let's imprint. So search for imprint this curve onto our surface. So here you see it's at the top, press OK, delete this curve. And now we have to create yeah, the this, this circular array shape. And this very simple, you can just go to the top and we again just create a curve. I like a control point curve and just snap somewhere here, one more and one more. So we add a nice curve. And now what you want to do so simple is select this curve and just radial array around the middle and take 12 or whatever you like. Maybe let's take 14 and press OK. And now we just need two of those curves and we need to those two curves. And we will imprint. So again, press F imprint. So imprint onto this surface here. But in this example, so perfect that it happens. So uh, it depends on your main shape, but sometimes when you imprint it, it, it doesn't go completely to the end, but we need that. So it's actually pretty good that it didn't work out. So let's do the following. First of all, select all of those curves here with alt click and just deselect those two and delete them. So we just have two. And now we don't want to imprint them, but we want to extrude them. So press E and just extrude them. So you have a sheet and delete those curves. And maybe let's, uh, how's it called? Extrude this at the top. And now very simple object mode, select this main mushroom shape, shift click the surface, press Q, um, select this mushroom shape, shift the surface and now imprint. So search for imprint. I have it on shift one, bam. And you see, if we delete the surface, we have it now imprinted completely here to, to the bottom. So we want to do the same for the second one, select the mushroom body, shift click and shift one or imprint and bam, perfect. Okay. Delete the surface. And now we want to delete this surface because we want to rebuild it with a nice curve. So shift X, delete, uh, delete this face and go to the front view and create a line because we need to imprint and just create like this shape here. Why we are doing this? Because we need here some extra edges so we can uh, bridge them. So select this curve 
and shift one imprint again onto our uh, body and delete now this curve. And now you see, so we don't need those curves. So just delete them here. And we just need those two here and those two. Because if we select those and very important, if you press F and bridge, so bridge edge, I have it on shift B. So bridge those with G0, do the same here, select both edges, shift B, bridge edge with G0. And the same here at the end, select those and shift B. And it's not working because it's one curve, then create just a line, shift A and go from edge end to edge end. That will work fine as well. And now we have to add to this curvature. So we have to subdivide those curves to add an extra point, which we can bring a little bit inside. So select those three curves, shift S for subdivide. And now just bring those points here a little bit inward. So again, you, you can play around with the shape if you want a little bit or if you want a lot. So just select those points one by one and bring them a little bit inwards. And now very simple, we will create a beautiful loft from this edge to this edge. So select this, shift, 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 loft. You see how beautiful, perfect this is. And now we just want to squeeze it into our hole. So select shift, click those edges and give it here G0 because we have a hard edge and the same at the other side, G0, bam. That's almost it. And look, it's so, so beautiful. Press OK, delete all of those curves. We don't need them. And also we don't need this whole surface here. We only need this circle and this thing. So select the mushroom body, shift X. And now we just want this piece. So uh, look that you have two separate sheets. So if they are not separate, select them and then Alt J unjoin. And now we take this one sheet, go to the top view, radial array and take the same amount, 14. Press OK, select all sheets, join. Select this whole body because you see our edges are still interrupted and press Control D. So or delete redundant topology. So search for delete redundant topology. So join everything. And you can basically close this hole. So Alt click this bottom edge, uh, patch it. Now you can give some nice smooth fillets if you want. And if we check the shading, we have our safe here. And again, two days left guys for our huge Easter sale. I'm not doing 40% sales of so often. So if you're a beginner, check out the beginner super bundle, or if you like surface modeling, you can check out one of these courses, everything below this video, leave a like and subscribe. So you don't miss tutorials like this and have a nice day. Bye.